Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. We are here at beautiful, super hot St. Louis. And I say beautiful sarcastically because I don't really like this place, but the track's pretty cool. FD uh, did kind of a new layout for us, uh, extended the track a little bit. But you guys watching right now, I just wanna say sorry for not posting a video about New Jersey. Uh, we didn't really get results that we wanted to. Really don't feel like making can, like content that's exactly the same every time and also not doing well at the track. It's like, it's really hard to get excited to make content about that. So I'm gonna try again. We're here at St. Louis. The boys are getting the car set up. We got a new clutch going in and we're just doing some regular maintenance on it and getting it ready to go. Chilling today, today's just setup day. Tomorrow we got practice and qualifying. We're off Friday and then we race on Saturday. So let's get into it. Thank you guys for watching so much. Let's have a good weekend. This is our four speed dog box. That's why you need a competitive drift car. Ain't that right? Oh yeah. <laughs> but what we do is when we take it out, we uh, we gotta take a look at these rings right here. So you see these faces, these little knobs here, those are the dog, these are the dog rings and this is the dog engagement. So we check these and make sure they don't get worn out. We check the gears, make sure it's all good to go. I haven't grinded this gearbox in a while, so it should be all good. and. Uh, Everyone seems to be happy with what's going on inside here. So we button it back up and put it back in the car with the new clutch in front of it. This is our new ACT triple disc. We just got this sent here at the track. So this is a very hefty clutch that we run in our car. It's got three plates in there, a lot of traction. You know, this is just a super, super strong stout uh, clutch. And we've been using this ever since we started driving this car and it's worked really well with us. ACT kills it. We got Marco under the whip. What you doing, baby? Oh, uh, you know, just like catching some shade, getting a little nap in, you know? Looks like you're taking a clutch out. Yeah, that too. All right, so let's take a look at this clutch. From what I'm seeing right now, this thing actually looks really good. Uh, I know what a lot of you are gonna say, we haven't been going really far in the rounds, but we still get a lot of practice time, a lot of qualifying time, probably do like 15 to 20 laps before competition. 12 lap maximum before qualifying, then we do qualifying, then we have practice the morning of, and you probably get maybe maybe six laps out of there on a good practice morning. But this clutch is looking really good for four rounds. So let's take a look at it, I'll show you what we really look for. So right off the bat, looking at this clutch, this it looks really good. The only plate that has a lot of material, well, not even a lot, but a, a significant amount of material coming off was this one. Uh, but the, the thickness on the pucks is actually pretty good. It's definitely at, it's you know it's definitely thin enough that it needs to be replaced but this probably would have got us through practice but this thing this thing looks pretty good you can see all the hot spots from us disengaging re-engaging the clutch you know a little bit of clutch kicks or slips but yeah the rest of these discs look pretty good i'm really impressed this is the longest that we've had one of these in the car. So four rounds. So I'm really impressed. ACT, I, I know they kill it. Their clutch is amazing, so this just shows proof to that. Now I'm under the car. We're doing an oil change, so since it's dry sump, we gotta spin drip, spin the dry sump pump with the tank open to uh, get all the extra oil, old oil out. So we just put a, like a little tiny uh, Milwaukee uh, drill on it and spin the pump nice and slow and it pushes all the oil out all the old oil and makes way for all that new oil. Now we got the super cool oil filter that comes apart and all we do is take it apart, clean it. It's got a magnet on the bottom that gets off any debris. Clean out the canister with a little spring. And we'll just put this puppy right back together. It needs two hands, but you just push this down and then twist it, it's locked in, ready to go back in the car. We'll get our big old bucket of uh, Pennzoil racing oil put it right in the dry sump tank. We got this pump here since it's pretty hard to pour it into that tank there since it's right up against the firewall. So we just got this sick ass pump attached to our five gallon pail and we pump our own in. Now we go for a test drive to make sure everything's working. Woo! Thing's so loud.
So me and Scott are down at the track and we're gonna go check out the new pavement that they added to see if we have to make any changes to the car or how we need to drive the track. It'll definitely be different, but we just wanna see how much. All right, so we're taking a look at the track and it's crazy different compared to last year. They So they pushed the track over. This black pavement that I'm standing on is brand new. And then on the outside of it, I guess this is like a little pit lane road here that they connected to. But my question is, where are we gonna be driving on this track? Because it is so wide here. It's so wide that from all the way over there, and then we gotta switch back, come all the way across, and then get into the outside zone. So I'm like, are we going to push this wide out and then cut across this huge amount of track to get over to this wall over here for the last outer zone? So I do not know how they're gonna line this up. For the, for the majority, from initiation, outer one and outer two are pretty much exactly the same. The only thing that they did was, it seems like they pushed a wall up on outer two, which kind of sucks because you're carrying a lot of speed. And in my eyes, why would you want the wall there when we're gonna have to push out so wide or carry so much speed to get all the way out on this new pavement that they're kind of slowing us down with a wall at outer two. So I'm sure the judges have it in their mind how it's gonna play out and work. Um, for the most part, they usually get the track set up pretty good for us. So I'm actually just really curious to see how we run it. So we'll just see how they want us to run it. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll go from there. But yeah, me and Scott just want to come out here and look at it to see if we have to make any changes to the car. But uh, Scott only thinks if anything, we just got to make a gear change. That's about it. It's the morning of uh, practice and qualifying day. We have a driver's meeting at 12, but we're not driving until 5.30, but we're up on the roof for the uh, spotter stand, checking out the track and uh, seeing how FD wants to run it. So it looks like they're just pushing us super wide. So just got a view of ProSpec driving the track. It looks like some of the guys are struggling with it a little bit, but I think... <laughs> oh, we all, have, we all have the same vans. I wish I was still filming. Me and Marco just walked into this van and tried to start and couldn't start it. This is our van. <laughs> I was like, man, I could have sworn I left it running. Dude, that was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was saying was, uh, we were watching ProSpec a little bit, driving the, the new layout, and it looks like some of them are struggling a little bit with it, but they don't have like the amount of tire and wheel speed that we have. So I think the pro cars are going to be driving on it fine. Uh, it looks kind of weird on the, the new pavement that they added. You could see the cars kind of like either like grip up going over it and then settle again. So we'll have to keep that in mind during practice today. And we're, uh, we're on a break here. So it's getting all fueled up. Super serious. Everyone's got a, an uncrusty. Getting geared up. All right, hold up, hold up. We got a special guest in the pits right now. It's a duck! <laughs> all right, you're going out first practice. Go get us good qualifying tonight, all right, yeah, bud? Yeah, you got that for us? <laughs> There's a dang duck in my race car. <laughs> She's like, I'm finna shit in this thing. <laughs> all right, so I'm chilling in the rental van. <clears throat> We're lined up for practice. We're ready to go. I have about two minutes, so I'm gonna hop in the car. We got practice all the way until like nine o'clock tonight, and then we go into qualifying. So it's gonna be a lot of driving. It is super hot here in St. Louis, and I'm really not happy about how hot it is, but we're gonna go out there and try to kick some ass. So gonna go out there, try and figure out the track like right off the bat so we can really just focus on dialing everything in and uh, just focus on getting a good qualifying score tonight. I, uh, I know the last couple rounds I've been doing okay qualifying wise. I just want to kind of up it a little bit. So yeah, that's what we're shooting for today. Two hours later. All Well, 
That's not how you want to end practice right before qualifying. Coming to outer three, sorry, I'm shaking, but uh, coming in outer three, the car just shut off and there's nothing I can do. Power steering went out and just drove, it just drove right into the wall. So I don't know. This also freaking sucks because everyone's waiting in practice, in line for practice right before qualifying. So taking up all this time to get the car on the, on the flatbed, it sucks. You know, I feel bad for the other drivers, but it was not my fault. The car literally shut off, so yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do. We have to assess the damage. I don't think we'll fix it in time for our qualifying run. Uh, maybe get into Nocto grade eight tonight. And I just figured out the track too. I was feeling really good. The boys thrashed on the car and we made it in time for our qualifying run. And uh, I think there's not enough drivers to fill the field. I think we got a 71, which is pretty crazy considering the alignment is completely way off. We had to throw a different shock in the front of the car um, and basically just hammered to get it where it is. But the boys crushed it and uh, yeah, just went out there, just didn't think about anything, just thought about just doing a run. It was probably super sloppy. I barely even remember it. I was just hammering on the throttle, um, but yeah. So I think we're in the show, but I'm really uh, happy about my crew putting in a bunch of work to make sure the car made it for qualifying. I thought I thought we weren't making qualifying at all. We we literally finished the car with a minute to go. So pretty insane. Okay, so stand corrected. We're still running another lap because we'll most likely be in the bottom eight or bottom seven, but there's third two drivers. So no matter what, we're in the show for Saturday, but we have a chance to go try and better our score against the other drivers in the bottom. If we go in the bottom, uh, we didn't find out yet, but it is looking like it since we scored pretty low. So at least we have a chance to go better our score and I get a practice lap in and get to see what we have to do with the car if we gotta fix anything else. So the guys are getting the car, good to go. Just double checking the alignment, fixing it up, uh, making it easier for me to drive it. So yeah. We're going to go again. fix it up, got a lot of stuff going on, making sure this car is ready to go for tomorrow. So we got a full day of work ahead of us, so that's for dang sure. But uh, I got the best team in the business, so we'll make sure that car is good to go for tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I can't sing anything. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm opening the hole up, brother. <laughs> now a severe thunderstorm just rolled in and uh, it's, the wind is picking up bad and this place is known for ripping canopies off of trailers and ruining, ruining everyone's easy up. So I am definitely worried right now. We survived the wind. Now uh, it seems like it's just doing a little bit more raining and then uh, clear skies on the way. But. Let's just get right back to work on the car. That was uh, scary for a little bit. I really don't want to rip my really expensive awning off the side of my trailer. That'd be that'd be insane to fix. Out here at Power Racing, we don't really have the budget for multiple kids, so the boys get in and <laughs> start fixing all the fiberglass. Hammering down. Have I reminded you it's not my fault that the car shut off? Hey man, we're here to help. <laughs> You got the dog. 
dogs out. Stop it. Get some help. All right, everybody. It's race day. It's Saturday, baby. We're here. It's a little bit warmer. It cooled down a little bit. The weather got crazy last night, so they had to push the prospect schedule, push our schedule. So we're starting a little bit later in the day, but we're good. We got a driver's meeting, then we're going to get into practice. Then we're going right in the top 32. We got Odie Bakshi's. He was a heavy hitter in the sport, but we love that. We love going up against the big guys. I mean, it is one of those tough things when you get them in the beginning of the day, but I've put a big guy on the trailer before. I plan on doing it again today, and then hopefully just keep on going. So that's where the mind's at, and that's where I want to be. So the car's ready to go. The boy thrashed on it yesterday, and she's looking like nothing ever happened. A little bit of scratches here and there, but she's good to go. So I'm excited we're getting pumped up and just going to get right on into it today and hopefully kick some ass. Uh, we can see as we are in the Rockstar Energy Drink Top 32, Odie Bakshi's Mike Power. So Odie Bakshi's will lead, Mike Power giving chase. And here comes the field suspension, S15. Now transitioning into that first outside zone. Good, aggressive initiation for Mike Power. Big angle there from Odie Bakshi's. Mike Power, good proximity, very smooth. Pulling away from Power is Odie Bakshi's. Now it's that third outside zone. Man, really flirting with that red and white wall. Outer zone three, and then drops it right into that last outside zone, staying clear and away from that red and white rumble strip, which again is off course. Treat that like grass, treat that like a wall. All right, here we go. Mike Power out front, as you said. He needs to throw down a banger of a lead run, and he does. Look at that big, nasty initiation from Mike Power. That's the aggressive driver we know and love, the Type S S15 from the East Coast. Now into that third outside zone. He's doing exactly what you asked, Brian, and look at this. Now in that last outside zone for big angle. He comes up a bit outside. He uh, hits it and quits it, gets out about halfway through outside zone four. But what great driving there. That I mean, talk about X Factor. If he did that in qualifying, talk about qualifying, the deficit. But was it enough? All right, here it is. And here it is. Slide him left for Odie, right for Mike Power. We get Odie Bakshis gets the win unanimously. So Odie gets the win. Well, that's all she wrote for this weekend. Uh, was super gutted about the result with Odie. I thought that was a really good battle. Um, I definitely made some mistakes, obviously, but I didn't really know the extent of the corrections and you know my mishaps on the track. So in the car, it felt perfect. Everything felt amazing. I, kn I know uh, a couple areas of my chase, I wasn't perfect. I knew that inside the car, so that was fine. But my, my lead, it felt like it felt like a hundred point run in my head. I didn't really know I, I backed out of uh, outer four, you know, drove out of it at the end. So yeah, Odie got the win, but it was still really good driving on my part. And I'm happy that I'm constantly getting better in this car and constantly getting better within the series and becoming more and more a threat uh, to these guys. I know Odie, I talked to him, uh, he, he, he definitely said it was good. And, you know, he had to play catch up, chase me. So today was good. Didn't get the results that we wanted, but it's all good. But thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, keep up with me, keep up with the videos I'm posting out. The more people that subscribe to the channel, the more videos I'm gonna make and more I wanna give back to you guys. So go ahead and leave me a comment too, say what's up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.